I met a good friend yesterday who, while sharing some of his lessons from his readings of the Bhagavad Gita, left me with a phrase that has not left my mind ever since. This phrase is, the eyes see what the mind knows. I had heard this phrase earlier, but in the business of life, never got down to reflect on its underlying meaning, which I've been doing since I heard it again yesterday. And the more I have thought about it, the more I realize that it is packed with deep philosophical perspectives. First things first, what does this thought even mean? That the eyes see what the mind knows. Now, as little as I understand, it suggests that our perception of the world around us is heavily influenced by our preconceived ideas, our pre-existing beliefs and experiences. In a sense, our mind shapes the way we see and interpret reality. In fact, our perception is not a direct window to reality, but rather a complex filtering process. Think about it this way. Have you ever looked at the same thing as someone else and seen something entirely different? I'm sure you have. That's the mind's influence on what your eyes perceive. Let's quickly explore some philosophical perspectives, including insights on spirituality. In the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Krishna, while imparting wisdom to Arjun, emphasizes the role of the mind in shaping our perception. Krishna highlights that the mind can be our greatest friend or our worst enemy, influencing how we perceive the world. He suggests that we need to control the mind to truly see and understand the world as it is. In Indian spirituality, there's also the concept of Maya, which suggests that the material world we perceive is an illusion created by the mind. It's like a magician's trick captivating us with its illusions. Now, Maya challenges us to transcend the limitations of our conditioned mind and see the underlying unity of all existence. It's an invitation to explore the deeper layers of reality beyond the superficial appearances. But here's the kicker, our minds are not always accurate. They are influenced by biases, they are influenced by prejudices and personal experiences. And these biases and prejudices and experiences can cloud our judgment and lead us to see what we want or expect to see rather than what's actually there. So where does this leave us? Should we distrust our perceptions entirely? I think not necessarily. The key is to be aware of our biases, acknowledge the limitations of our perception and strive to expand our horizons. This means being open to different perspectives, challenging our own beliefs and continuously learning. From a practical standpoint, I think this concept has relevance in everyday life. It's about practicing empathy towards others, avoiding snap judgments and actively seeking to understand other people's point of view. Remember, the I see what the mind knows, but the mind can always learn and grow. As I conclude, if there is one thing you can take away from what I shared with you today, it is this. The idea that your eyes see what your mind knows is a powerful concept that should encourage you to question your perceptions and engage in lifelong journey of self-improvement and self-awareness. Your mind is incredibly influential in shaping the world you see, but by embracing a more open and objective mindset, you can truly broaden your horizons and foster a deeper connection with the world around you. With this, thank you for being part of this important conversation. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the world with an open mind and remember, the eyes see what the mind knows. Thank you.